Welcome to this next video segment where we're going to look at a technique called IMPROVE. This is an acronym that's used in dialectical behavior therapy to try and help control our behaviors. My name's Jenneth and I'm your behavior specialist. Improve is a technique that we can use, and again, we're, we're looking at a situation where we're trying not to eat something. Whether the circumstance is small or big, there will be many times that you don't have control over an unpleasant event. During these times, you'll need distress tolerance to make it through the situation without engaging in unhealthy behaviors. Intense emotions don't last forever. You can use the DBT skill Improve to tolerate emotions until the intensity subsides. Improve stands for imagery, meaning, prayer, relaxation, one thing in the moment, vacation, and encouragement. So let's start by looking at imagery. Imagine yourself dealing successfully with the problem, being in wise mind, and feeling accomplished when the situation is over. By doing so, you may actually be able to change the outcome of the problem in your favor. The second piece is called meaning. Try to find meaning in painful situations. What can you learn from this experience? Maybe you'll be more empathetic. Maybe you'll build new relationships. Maybe this will launch you on a healing journey. Find a reason or a possible reason to assign your present suffering. The third piece that we can look at is prayer. Prayer can come in any form that works for you. The prayer can be to a higher power, including God or the universe. Surrender your problems and ask to tolerate the situation for just a little bit longer. The next piece is called relaxation. We tense up during stressful situations thanks to our fight or flight instinct. Engage in relaxation activities to calm the psychological distress you're experiencing. These activities can include deep breathing, yoga, a hot bath, or a relaxing walk. The next part we're going to talk about is one thing in the moment. Stay in the moment by letting go of the past and future. Adding old issues to the situation or future tripping about potential consequences of the situation will not be helpful in solving the problem. Find one thing to do and focus your entire self to that task. A one-track mind helps emotions feel less overwhelming. The next piece is called vacation. On the ideal vacation, you're able to take a break from all your stressors and return home ready to take on the challenges you left behind. Unfortunately, most of us aren't able to take a real vacation during a moment of crisis. Instead, you can take a vacation in your mind. Imagine yourself somewhere else, like taking an evening stroll around the lake or driving on the Pacific Coast Highway. Stay on your vacation as long as necessary and revisit as often as needed. Hopefully, you'll return better to tolerate your circumstances. The last piece is encouragement. Encouragement doesn't have to come from an external source to be effective. Give yourself encouragement by repeating phrases that are meaningful to you, such as, I got this, I can improve this moment. Say it loud and say it proud. You'll be amazed at your ability to motivate yourself to make it through a challenging time. This distress tolerance technique that I've just gone through in Proof can be used anywhere and anytime you need to tolerate a situation that you can't change. Practice these techniques during minor situations and they'll come to you naturally when bigger problems arise. My name's Jenna and I'm your behavior specialist.